What's going on, Chris? What'd you think of Guardi uh, the uh, Avengers movie, Chris? Hey everybody, um, just waiting for some, see if anybody else is going to come on, but uh, I'll probably be on here for a while, so let's get started on what I'm making tonight. I've got um, some quesadillas, chicken quesadillas with homemade salsa, and for dessert I have a um, chocolate brownie caramel dessert that we're using this um this round this uh rectangular pan for from pampered chef um i've got some salsa i was gonna start prepping to get that going so i've got my manual food processor here so what's nice about this is you don't really have to cut up everything too fine you just let the machine do it for you. So I'm just gonna throw my ingredients in here. Got tomatoes. I've got some onions, I got some lime, I got some jalapenos. Throw everything in. Got my Santoku knife from Pampered Chef. This is an amazing knife. I've been using it all the time now. Um, can't keep it clean enough. Nice six inch blade. Nice and sharp. Everything's always lifetime guarantee if you get uh, anything wrong with this if the rivets break if this blade snaps anything like that it, they'll you can return it and get a brand new one so i got my onions my tomatoes my jalapenos like i said you don't have to chop it up that much because you got the processor to do that for you this is just enough for two people. So I've got my onions, my tomatoes, my jalapenos, and then I've got some lime here. Got some salt and pepper. I'm gonna add into it. got the Pamper Chef juicer I'm going to use with my lime here. One good tip when you're, well, first of all, keep yourself clean when you're cooking. One good, one good tip sometimes people do is they either put this in the microwave for 30 seconds and it gets the juice a little bit, it opens up the juice inside the, the lime or the lemon, or what you could do is push it on the counter a little bit and it'll get the juices out, but since you're using the juicer, it'll do all that work for you. But just in case you didn't have the juicer, it's a little tip for you. 
So this is nice. This is nice because if you have any seeds or pulp or anything like that, it has a little strainer for you in case you want to get that stuff out. If you just want the juice. How you doing, Melody? Everybody's quiet today, I guess. So it's got two settings on here. It's got the strainer or the no strainer. So you can take this and just adjust it so you can strain all the pulp and all the seeds out. So want to add a little lime juice. Some people add a little olive oil to their salsa too. But I'm not going to for this recipe. So what's nice about this manual food processor, I'm good. Just trying to have this launch party, see how it goes. Um, this has a little locking mechanism here, so if you wanted to um, store it and you didn't want this handle up like this, you can push it down and it locks closed so you can store it easier. I actually have two of these now, so I love these. Um, it's easier than taking out my, we used to have an old uh, electric food processor, but it was just too big and bulky and it wasn't nice, it wasn't easy to store. So all you gotta do is pump the handle. The blades are very sharp. So they're really, make a really good salsa. I made guacamole with this before. You can mix up other things with it. But. Beautiful. So if you got any extra, you can use your, you can use your spatula and clean it off and Give it a couple more. I just had a couple jalapenos that weren't all in mix. And look at that. Five minutes, you got some amazing salsa. Um, we're going to have this with the quesadillas. It's beautiful. So, it's got that done. Put this off to the side. What's nice about this I forgot to show you. It has a little lid for it if you want to store it. You can store it in the fridge. Amazing. Yeah, no added preservatives. Right, Tara. Fresh salsa. You can use this can your own salsa and if you got any garden, garden veggies, for the summer, you got a nice salsa, no fuss, no muss, for about two dollars. So I'm gonna keep that closed for right now. I've got some chicken over here. I'm gonna switch cutting boards. So I'm gonna start prepping for my quesadillas. So I want to get a separate knife, separate cutting board. Um, these cutting mats come in three different colors. I usually, I want to, I've been trying to keep one of them. One color is for cooking, for cutting steaks, chicken, any sort of meat like that. So I've been trying to keep them separate because you don't want any cross contamination, getting a coli, getting salmonella or whatever. So. Cut these open. You want to make sure you got a nice sharp knife to cutting anything you don't want to cut yourself. So, so 
So with these, I like to cut them, when I make my quesadillas, I like to cut them into small chunks because I don't want um, you don't want any big pieces when you're making quesadillas because it won't it's easier to eat when you got small pieces and you want to make sure that you got some uniform pieces so they all cook evenly because if you got pieces that are bigger than the other ones then you're running the risks of oh this one's cooked but this one's not cooked so I have to take this one out or otherwise it's going to get dry so you want a nice uniform pieces. I'm gonna warm up my pan while we're talking about it. I've got lots of uh, different products if anybody wants to see. I have the rock crock, I have the salad chopper, I have the juicer you've seen. I've hit, these are the Pampered Chef mixing bowls down here. I have the Rock Crock. I have these uh, silicone mixing bowls I'll show you in a second. I've got the hamburger press. I've got the mandolin, garlic press, can opener. Um, lots of stuff. So if anybody wants to see anything, let me know in the comments here. So these are the these are the Pampered Chef silicone bowls. They're nice for prep if you're. I've got one bowl filled with peanut butter, one bowl filled with uh, the Snicker bars for the dessert, and I have one bowl now with the chicken. So I want to just get this in that bowl so it's out of the way, and I can get rid of this cutting mat. I want to wash my hands really quick. So what I did earlier was I um, took a quarter cup of peanut butter, which is going to be for the brownies. I'm gonna microwave this for about 30 seconds till it's thin so I can put it in with the the brownies. What I also want to do while my pan is heating up, put a little olive oil in there. get a little oil in my pan so I can what I was going to use for this is a Pampered Chef basting brush it's got nice little soft edges here so you can baste whatever you need barbecue sauce I'm gonna use a little canola oil for get a little bowl here I just want to grease the sides up so the brownies don't stick at all. Put that off to the side. So we got our brownie mix. I bought some uh, light brownie mix, fudge brownie mix. So, we got one egg, we got half a cup of water, we've got my measure all cup here. So if you spend uh, $75 on this party today, you get one of these for free. I don't know if you guys have seen this before. I know Melody has, but 
Um, you've got a liquid measure side and a dry measure side. The red's for the dry measure, so if you wanted to measure brown sugar, breadcrumbs, anything like that, you push it up like this. You set up your measurements and then you can just pop it right out. If you want to measure liquid, obviously you go this way, use the blue right there. So you need a half a cup of water. tablespoon of vegetable oil we've got our pampered chef measuring spoons we've got a tablespoon we've got half teaspoon and what I also saw was most measuring spoons don't go this low but there is a 1 8 measuring spoon here so that's really nice if you have something small like cinnamon or something like that half a teaspoon quarter teaspoon but I need a teaspoon of all, uh, all the oil. Sorry, tablespoon. I'll post this recipe later on if anybody's interested. Hi, Amy. Both Amy's. So I've got that all in there. I'm gonna mix it up. I've heard some people use the mixing shop. You can use this for mixing stuff if you really wanted to, another Pampered Chef item. I'm just gonna use a whisk today, but this is a really nice thing if you wanna use it for um, ground beef, ground chicken, anything like that. If you're making tacos, really nice. Mashed potatoes, I love this thing. So what's nice about this brownie recipe is you don't even have to put it in the oven. Four to six minutes in the microwave and you're done. So Tara loves brownies and she wanted to bring some to work so I'm going to make one batch now and I'm going to make another batch for her to bring to work. So I got all that mixed together. While I'm getting this all situated, I'm gonna throw my peanut butter in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Get that all melted. While I'm working on that, I've got my pan heated up now, so I'm gonna throw my chicken in there. And throw some salt and pepper on there. Got that in there. Already. I got some uh, taco seasoning I'm going to add to that in a little bit. Just want to get it a little bit brown a little bit. So we got the peanut butter. Peanut butter is nice and melted. So I got the brownie. So the recipe calls to take the sticker bars and line them in the bottom of the brownie pan. It says to take 10 of them, but we'll see how many I can get in here. I think about 10, yeah. So I got that, I'm gonna get A 
a Pampered Chef spatula. Pour that over the top. that all nice and straight out. These are nice silicone spatulas here. Very nice. So I got my peanut butter. I'm gonna drizzle some of that over the top. Oh, that looks good. What you can do too is swirl it in with your batter so it gets all incorporated into the chocolate. Beautiful. So this takes about four to six minutes in the microwave. I'm gonna throw that in there right now. Try five minutes first. Got my chicken cooking over here. My pampered chef tongs here. These are nice because they close in on themselves, keep themselves closed so you can store them. So I'm going to add my taco seasoning now to the chicken. So I also have this grill press, so I'm going to use for the quesadillas. So what I'm going to do is heat up this pan here for my quesadillas once I'm ready to finish them off. And I'm going to use this on the bottom to make the grill marks and then this on the top to press them down, kind of like a panini almost. But that will give them some nice even grill marks. Hey Amy, is there anything you wanted to see? Um, if you're still on there. I've got some other stuff here we can see. I've got some other gadgets if anybody else wanted to see them. Just let me know. Got my salad chopper. These are nice because they have a little locking mechanism so you can store them. These are nice for cutting up chicken, cutting up uh, if you want to make pork, pulled pork or whatever, these come unlocked pretty easily. You can chop up lettuce, chop up chicken, pork. I was going to show how to, I can cut up some of the chicken in here to even. Do it right in the pan too. So 
whatever. Sorry if I'm making anybody dizzy there. Just trying to set up my tripod here. nice about these is they have the two blades so it's more of like a double scissors so it's chopping everything twice. Yeah. Gonna check on these brownies here. Chicken's done, so I'm gonna take that off the burner. Still a little bit longer, maybe a minute more. start prepping my quesadillas. So I got some Chihuahua cheese. Got my quesadillas. So what I'm going to do is take my chicken and put it in a bowl. So I have it next to me. heating up my grill pan over here. So I got my chicken, my quesadillas. So there's two ways you could do it is you can do a fold over quesadilla or you can put one on top of the other. I find that the fold over works a little better for uh, uniform heating up of the cheese so that's usually what I go with so spoon a little chicken in here a little chihuahua cheese maybe a little more I got some more cheese, so if I get run out, I always got some extra. Press it down a little bit, and then we're going to finish it once our pan finishes heating up. Is there anything you want to see, Tara? So 
So this will make about six tortillas, six quesadillas. Yeah, the grill press is real nice because you can make paninis, you can make quesadillas like we're making now. You put your steak on there and have it have grill marks on both sides. So I've got four made so far. This is almost heated up. So you get the grill pan here. What's nice about these is you don't have to put any oil on it, so you don't have to worry about extra fat. So I'm gonna put two quesadillas down and put my grill press on top. So it presses it down and it'll get the cheese melted faster. So I've got four quesadillas so far. I got two more here. a nice easy prep for even a weeknight meal if you just want to make some quesadillas and some salsa takes about 20 minutes easy weeknight meal that's what they actually call weeknight quesadillas but I thought this would be a nice little showing of a bunch of my pampered chef tools here so we got that got all the quesadillas made We'll check on the brownies now. Oh, there's a curious Sasha over here. Come on, get down. So what I got now, check on these brownies, make sure they're done. Another minute, they're still a little gooey, but so what's nice about this, you can make two at a time. If anybody's got any questions, let me know. So once the brownies are done, they gotta rest for another 10 minutes, which will help them continue to cook. So right now I've had them in there for about five, six, six and a half minutes. So I'm gonna pull them out and then let them rest for 10 minutes. I'll show them to you real quick. So I got these two. These are from Pampered Chef. They're little microwave holders. So if you wanted to get something instead of grabbing your, yeah, <laughs> instead of grabbing everything, the uh, big oven mitt here, like for also from Pampered Chef, they have these smaller ones for microwave stuff. So you can get these out. So there we go. Peanut butter, caramel, chocolate, fudge brownies. Ready in about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna let these rest over here. 
It will continue to cook a little bit longer, so we'll see how that rests now. So I'll check my quesadillas. A little bit longer. I'll put the heat up a little bit. Yeah, Sasha likes to uh, be curious on everything we're doing here. So, if anybody wants was curious, we have the salad choppers here today. We've got the grill press. We've got the grill pan which has an attach detachable handle here that pops off. We've got some pamper chip tongs. We've got our mats. We've got the rectangular baker over here for our brownies. There's just so much with Pampered Chef. I just love cooking with all this stuff. It's nice to have good quality equipment. Sorry about the glare in the background there. Let me close those blinds real quick. That's a little better. Any other questions anybody has? So, while I'm waiting for those to cook, I'm gonna prep another batch of these brownies. out this bowl real quick. So these glass bowls come in three different sizes. I'm using the medium right now, but it also come in these, come in a large and a smaller one. So now we got the Grill press here. Oops. So look at those grill marks that you got on there. Beautiful. It's like it's in a professional kitchen. So we're gonna put the grill press back on there. So I got four more of these. Gonna get another quarter cup of peanut butter. I'm gonna use my measure all cup. It's got the little red marks for a quarter cup. It's probably backwards in the 
feed, but what's nice though is you can just pop it right into your bowl. Scrape it right off. We'll microwave this for another 30 seconds. Start the next batch. What's nice about this grill pan too is it doesn't get hot because it's got the separate rivets from the cast iron so you got the metal here so you don't have to burn yourself. Yes, it's natural peanut butter. Jif all natural. So what I'm gonna do to keep the quesadillas, I'm gonna keep them warm in the microwave for a little bit. I usually put it on for like 10 seconds and then it'll keep it warm. So I've got my brownie mix. I'm going to do these brownies in a separate pan because we only have one of the Pamper Chef pans. So I'm going to do the same thing. Grease the pan up. Kitchen um, Pamper Chef also has a kitchen spritzer. It's like this little device that's like a, a water bottle almost. And it has like a sprayer and it creates pressure so you can... Put your own kitchen spray in there and spray down your pans instead of buying the, the kitchen oil sprays like you do from the store that have different preservatives in it. So you can use your own olive oil, vegetable oil, whatever you want. You know that there's going to be no preservatives in it because it's going to be nice and fresh. So I've got the water, need the oil. I 
obviously can't do this one in the microwave because it's metal, but I'm going to throw this one in the oven. See how that works. Well, maybe I'll just wait until I get that other one clean. We'll see. I just wanted to show you guys everything I got here. If you guys want to order, we'll put a description down below. We'll put a link down below where you can find all my my website. Anybody have any other questions? So we've got our quesadillas, we got some salsa, we've got our brownies. Everything's looking good. Brownies are looking good. They're going to sit for a little bit longer. If you guys want to um, host your own virtual party, let me know. I know I have one set up for uh, last week of May. But I'm pretty open all the rest of May. If you get $200 in sales, if you're hosting a party and you get $200 in sales, you get the host um, thing, 60% uh, off one item. Um, you can, I'll send up, put a little description in the, the comments below, but you get 60% off one item. And if you buy or each guest, if they, buy $75 in May they get a little spatula um, I can send so show a description in there down below too so I'm finishing up with the last of the quesadillas um, but yeah so the April special if you order $75 you get the measure all cup I showed you that earlier but yeah if anybody has any questions or want to book book a party or want to have an individual order even too it's good got some other stuff we got these little pampered chef utility knives they're coated with the plastic really nice they've got different colors of these blue green red really nice and sharp They've got the Santoku knife. They've got chef's knives that are this different colors like this too. So whatever you guys want. If you guys want me to send you a catalog, let me know. Any other questions? All right, well, if anybody wants any products or needs anything, any questions answered, let me know. Um, but thanks for coming and checking it out. If you checked it out, if you're checking out this video when it's not live, just message me. Let me know if you got any questions. Um, but thanks. Bye.